Hi, in this question, we would learn how to find the area of a triangle given the vertices of that triangle. Here we have the vertices 3, minus 2, 5, 4, and minus 5, 5. There is a way which is using determinants uh, to calculate the area of the triangle. So to find the area, we can say it's equal to half the determinant of the numbers of the included in the vertices. Here the coordinates of the uh, vertices 3, minus 2. We put them 3, minus 2, 5, 4, and minus 5, 5 and we put them in order so that we can put the last column as 1, 1, 1. So we write 3 minus 2, the coordinates of the first one, and 5, 4, the coordinates of the second, 5 minus 5, 5, the coordinates of the third, and we put 1, 1, 1 in the third column to make a 3 by 3 determinant. Now, how do we calculate the determinant? Now, uh, there is a process here. There is either you uh, split it into small determinants 2 by 2, or we can do it by the column method. I will explain it here. To do it by uh, the column method, we can take uh, the first column and the second column into the side of the determinant. So we can take 3, 5, minus 5. We put them here. 3, 5, and minus 5. And we take the second column. Also, we put it here. We put minus 2, 4, and 5. There is a process to do that. Just we have to learn it for the first time and memorize the process and that's it. So let's say we can take now to calculate uh, the area. First of all, I'm going to leave minus half alone and we'll perform the determinant calculation. So the process says that we have to multiply the three, the first diagonal, which is containing those numbers, three, four, and one. First, we multiply it. We multiply the second one and we multiply the third one. Like it's like not horizontal or vertical like we say diagonal so we multiply 3 by 4 and by 1 and we put the multiplication let's say here 3 by 4 12 by 1 is 12 and we add it with the product of the second diagonal this is the second one if you see what i'm doing here the second diagonal we multiply minus 2 by 1 which is minus 2 times minus 5 which is plus 10 so we have 10 here also we multiply the third one which is 1 by 5 by 5 and we put it also beside the 10 so 1 times 5 5 times 5 25 so this is 25 so we got 12 plus 10 plus uh, we said 25 sorry 25 more 12 plus 10 plus 25 and we get their answer we do uh, 25 plus 10 is 35, 35 plus 12 is 47. Now we perform the same process we did here. We do it vertically, not vertically, I mean the diagonal, but from left to right, like those numbers, minus 5 times 4 times 1, and we can put their answers here. So minus 5 times 4, let me do that, just to show you or not doing something different minus 5 times 4 minus 20 times 1 minus 20 so this is minus 20 and then the other one which is 5 times 1 times 3 and we put it also up 5 times 1 5 times 3 15 we put plus 15 and the last one is 1 times 5 times minus 2 so put 1 times 5 times minus 2 which is minus 10 so we say plus minus 10 so which is minus 10 and then would be we add it, add them all minus 20 uh, plus 15 which is minus 5 and minus 10 which is minus 15 let's make sure minus 20 minus 30 plus 15 minus 15 that's good and finally we do the difference between the product we did the sum of the product we did we do 47 this one minus this one don't forget it we do the one that we did at the beginning we add them all we get 47 and the second part we did we put it up and we do this one minus this one we do minus but we perform this minus that so we say 47 minus what do we have up we have minus 15 minus 1 5 is going to be equal 47 plus 15 which is equal 650 63 that's 60, uh, 64, sorry. That's 7 and 5, 12, 62. That's 6, 50 and 12, which is 62. Now, the difference between those is 62, but the area is equal to half the determinant. So we can say 
a is equal 1 over 2 of the determinant, which is 62, then it's equal to 31. And then a, I, like I mentioned, a is the area, but you have to remember that a area should be positive. This is a is equal to 1 over 2, the determinant. But if we say the area, so the area should be positive. What about if we got the determinant negative 31? So in this case, we have to do the absolute value of a because the area is equal absolute a. a representing the a is equal to the determinant, half of the determinant. But the area we need is equal to absolute a, which is equal absolute 31, which is equal finally 31. Now here 31 is positive, so uh, it's, it's, uh, it doesn't affect. But what about if we got a as negative? So in this case, we have to write area equal absolute a, which is equal to 31 as final. And uh, of course, because they are asking about area, so we have to write the unit. And here we have no unit, so we say it's unit square or square unit, which is if it's centimeter, we say centimeter square. If it's meter, we say meter square and so on. Thank you.